Hey guys, Retro Badger here. So in this video, we're going to put the Enterprise G, which has been modified by uh, Alex Gato, and we're going to put it up against the Enterprise F. So these should now be properly balanced. As we saw in the last video, the Enterprise F lost, but it put up a good fight. Uh, so yeah, let's see what happens. So I am interested to see if multi-vector assault mode will make a difference actually with this. I have a feeling it will do as the phaser array on the G is absolutely insane. I'd say it's more powerful than the quantum torpedoes. I'm going to aim for the ablative armor on the Enterprise F. As we can see, the Enterprise F is still taking it. Taking quite a beating. Now I think if the Enterprise G was canon, I don't think there was that much time difference between the Enterprise F and the Enterprise G coming out. So I think it might have been a similar situation that we saw with the Enterprise D, Enterprise C. As as you can see, the I mean I think I'm getting I think I got a lucky shot there to be honest. I've done a few of these battles now, and that's the quickest I've managed to take the ablative armor down. But it is still putting up a heck of a fight, the Enterprise F. Its shielding is very impressive. It's like an earlier generation of the one that's on the Enterprise G in my opinion. Yeah, I think um, the gap between the Ambassador and the Galaxy class, obviously it's not that great, time difference wise. At least between the Enterprise C and the Enterprise D, but the technology gap between the Enterprise E and the Enterprise D is absolutely huge. That was such a massive leap and it, it went more, if you look at the design of the Sovereign class, it's longer, it's a bit more like the Excelsior class, it's more battle-like course because they shifted from exploration didn't they to defense more right should we try multi-vector assault mode oh i didn't go in the thunderbird did i oh that was dumb oh well this should be interesting we like the thunderbird on this channel don't we oh no they're targeting me don't do that uh okay I'm losing my uh, confidence here. I think I'm going to transport over. Oh, sugar. Yeah, lower shields for transport. What a great idea, Brex. Hey, there's a saucer section. Right. Okay. We survived. Just. So I'm thinking if we attack it from all sides, as its shielding is all linked together, isn't it? So whilst that's a strength, in that it can redistribute its shields, I see it as a weakness if we're in a multi-vector assault mode vessel. What I find funny as well is when the Romulans took over the Prometheus and they tested it out on that Nebula class and the computer said, specify target, and it's like, this, and he says the Starfleet vessel you think the computer would have some sort of safeguard built in, wouldn't you? Thinking maybe the creators could have thought of, like, well, who in their right mind would target a Starfleet vessel? A Romulan? I mean, come on. I also think in Star Trek as well, the ships get taken over way too easily. Oh, we don't have many phaser arrays on this. Oh, there we go. Surely they'd have some sort of like... I mean, we, we saw it where they had force fields, didn't we? Where they could like trap people in force fields and stuff like that. It's all... I don't know, turn off the gravity plating or something. Gosh. I did find that on Strange New Worlds, that was quite cool. When the, um, the bridge got taken over and they were fighting hand to hand. I loved that. Oh, 
Right, well, I think this Enterprise F is holding out almost longer than the Enterprise G did, actually. Is it because I multi vector assault moded? Oh, I don't know. I hope not. Though I seem to remember last time, I think the Enterprise G just got a lucky shot on us. Yeah, I gotta be honest, I'm gonna reintegrate here because I don't think we're making much progress, are we? And we can't. That's interesting. Are they even doing anything? Hang on. You have to do that in Kobayashi Maru sometimes. You have to constantly tell them what to do because they forget. One issue you will find with the Enterprise G as well is that it has a tendency to crash the game. I think it's down to its phaser array. See the size difference then, that was a nice little comparison there, wasn't it? It's absolutely massive, the Star Drive section on the Enterprise G. It's definitely a ship in its own right. Look at this! Oh, are they going to ram? Oh, I thought they were going to ram. I definitely think the Thunderbird's at risk of being destroyed. The Enterprise G saucer section has some damage. Interesting. The F, though, is doing its best. It's, it's multi-targeting. That's pretty impressive. Okay, the armor plating is at, um, what, 40%? Whoa, I got confused then. I actually thought the Enterprise F just did a multi-vector assault mode. Right. All right, we're getting some... Yeah, we got a bit of hull damage there. Gosh. That's weird. We seem to have phaser rate. Whoa! There we go. Down it goes. All right, well, we can definitively say uh, the Enterprise G is definitely properly balanced now. So thank you, Alex, for sending that over to me. And... Um, I hope you release it, actually. I think a lot of people would appreciate that. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.